Hello and welcome to the fifth video in this beginner's guide to Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, we are going to take a closer look at the project panel. Now, in After Effects, every element that is brought into the program is placed into the project panel. It may help to think of this as a kind of links panel. As a beginner, there are a few important things you will need to learn about this panel before we move on. In this video, I'm going to discuss the project panel in a bit more depth and show you how media elements brought into the program are managed and placed into your timeline panel ready for editing. So in this video, we are going to be covering the following topics. The project panel, managing links, managing assets in the project panel, and placing media elements from the project panel into your compositions. After this video, you will get a better understanding of how all this works so you will feel more comfortable moving forward. So let's get into it. So here I am where we left off in the previous episode with an After Effects project open. If you're new to this series and you wish to follow along with this tutorial, you will need to open this document I have prepared especially for this video. This can be found in the introduction folder in the project folder. And you can download this project folder for a small fee. The download link is in the description. The download folder comes with lots of exercise documents we will be using on this course that have been carefully developed to aid your learning experience. The folder also comes with document resources such as videos, graphics and images you can use to build your first video presentation from scratch later on in this course. To get the full learning experience, I recommend you get the project folder. Download link with instructions is in the description. So with the project folder open, click into the S1 introduction folder, into the fourth folder, compositions, and open the Hyde Park After Effects file. So now I want to draw your attention to the project panel, which is located over on the left hand side of the interface. As mentioned earlier, every element that exists in your project is stored here, ready to be placed into a composition. In this instance, we can see we have a number of folders. In the comps folder, we can see all the compositions that make up this project. And above, we have the assets folder. If we toggle down, we can see more folders where I have organized my media into various sections, such as audio, images, solids, and video. Now, if I click the drop down button on these folders, you can see the media elements within. For this example, I will put my mouse cursor carefully over the top of the timeline panel until I see the mouse cursor change to the arrows then I'll click and drag down. This will give more visibility to the project panel here. So as we scroll up and down in the project panel, we can see there are quite a few media elements in this project. And I have personally organized my files in this way so I know where everything is and where to access it from. So next, I want to draw your attention to the top of the project panel. At the top of the project panel, we have this media info space. For example, if I click into the video folder below and click on flower underscore one MP4. At the top of the project panel, we can see the information regarding this media item. In this instance, it's telling me the name, how many times it's been used in the project, the dimensions, its length, frames per second, and the video format. We can use this area of the project panel to check any media item we have in the project. This time, I will come up and click on an image. So remember to use this feature if you want to check info about your media items in After Effects. Now, another quick way to see information at a glance is to pull your project panel out. In After Effects, the project panel is neatly placed over on the left. Now, if I carefully place my mouse cursor where the project panel meets the visual compositions panel in the middle, we will see the mouse cursor change to arrows. If I click and drag this out to the right, you can see information regarding each media item. If I move my mouse cursor to the top next to the title names, I can right click on this and choose which property I want to see. So for now, I'll click back onto the project panel edge and drag it back in so I can clearly see the media item names and the composition panel in the middle. Now, it's important to mention that when we bring media elements into an After Effects project, they are not physically part of the file. All media elements such as video, images, and audio will exist on your computer and when you bring them into After Effects, they appear here as links. It will help to think of this project panel like a links panel. If a link is changed, edited, or deleted off your computer, it will effectively change or break the link. For example, 
If I come into the project panel and come into the video folder, then into the stills folder and come and select a video link, let's go with landscape 3 MP4. If I right click and come and click on reveal in finder, upon click a browser window will appear and we can see where on the computer the media file is placed. Now if for example I change the name of the link and I'll just put an X on the end of the file name, if I come back into After Effects we will get a message stating a file cannot be found. So if I click OK, we will now see that where the file was placed in the composition, we will now have this coloured background. When a file is missing or changed in After Effects, you will always see this coloured image, and this will be applied to anything that is missing. Notice in the project panel, we will see this coloured icon applied to the now missing link. Now if I come back to my browser window and change the file name back, and I'll take the X from the end of the file name. Back in After Effects, we can still see the image link is missing. But now if I come to the media link in the project panel, right click and select reload footage, the media will appear back again. Now another example is if a file is moved to a different place on your computer. Back in the browser window, I'm now going to move my file from this folder into another folder. If I come back to After Effects, we will get the message stating a file cannot be found again. So if I click OK, again we will see the coloured background in our comp and on the media link in the project panel. Now this is a common thing that can happen. However, what we can do is come to the broken media link in the project panel, right click and select replace footage and select file. Upon click we can then navigate to the file on the computer. In this example, I'll just navigate to the new video location select and click OK. Upon click, the media will appear back again. So what we have done there is relink the footage. So now I'm going to come back to my folder and just put the file back into the stills folder. Back into After Effects, we will get the same error message again. So again, I'll right click and select replace footage and select file. I'll just navigate back to the folder it was originally in, select and click OK. Upon click, the media will appear back again. Nice. So keep in mind you have to be really careful when working with links in After Effects. If you make any changes to files or move them around on your computer outside the program, it will have a knock-on effect inside your After Effects document. If this happens, you will typically need to reload the footage or relink the footage. So next, it's important to mention that when you create a brand new After Effects project, you have no folders or anything in this project panel. So how do we manage assets in the project panel? So let's start by creating a new document. If you have the Hyde Park document open, come up to File and click Close Project. If it asks you to save, for now just click No. So after closing your project, you should now see a blank interface ready for a new project. Now if I click the New Composition button here in the middle to start a new project, or come up to Composition in the top bar and click New Composition, up will pop the Composition Settings window. Now I'll make sure the dimensions are set to 1920 by 1080 and the composition length is set to 1 minute and I'll click OK. And we will see a brand new composition open. Now if we look over in the project panel we will see just one composition present and if we look down in the timeline panel we will see no layers inside. So I want to start to organise my media in the project panel. To begin I can come to the bottom of the project panel and click the Create New Folder icon. Upon click, we will see a new folder in the project panel. And I'm going to call this Comps. And it's in this folder I'm going to place all my compositions made during a project. Now, if I accidentally click off the folder, I can select it and press Enter on the keyboard to change the name. With my Comps folder created, I'm now going to click and drag my Comps 1 composition into the Comps folder. So now it's time to bring some external media into my project. To do this is quite easy. One way is to come into the project panel with the mouse cursor and double click into the blank space below the folder. Upon click, up will pop a browser window. This is After Effects asking you what file you would like to import. So in this instance, I'm going to navigate to the downloadable project folder, click into the project assets folder, then click into the images folder, then into the JPEG folder, then into the Hyde Park folder, and there we can see a few images. In this instance, I'm going to select all the images and click Open. 
Upon click, you will then see all the images appear in the project panel. Now before I do anything else, I'm quickly going to come down to the bottom of the project panel and click the new folder icon. I'll name this folder images, then I'll click the top image, press and hold shift, and select the bottom image to select them all. With them selected, I'll drag them into the folder. So now I have two neat folders in my project panel, a comps folder and an images folder. So next I'm going to bring in some video files, but this time I'll show you another way you can bring in media. So I'll come back into the project panel with the mouse cursor and double click into the blank space. Upon double click, up will pop a browser window. In my browser window, I'm going to navigate to the downloadable project folder, click into the project assets folder, then click into the video folder, then into the first folder, Hyde Park, and here we can see a number of folders. Now if you click into these, you can see there are a number of video files. Now if we back up to the Hyde Park video folder, you can see in this instance I have organized them in folders here into various categories. Okay, so in this instance I want all the videos to be placed into After Effects. So here I will click on the One Hyde Park folder and click Open. Upon click, you will see the folders appear inside the project panel. After Effects will interpret the folder structure from the browser and copy the folders into After Effects. And if I click to toggle down the folders, we can see the media items inside. Great. So next, I'm quickly going to organize this. So I'll come to the bottom of the project panel, click on the new folder icon and name the new folder video. Next, I'll simply select the Hyde Park folder and drag it into the video folder. So that's one way to place content into your After Effects document. Now, another way is to simply drag content from a browser window into After Effects. So this time, I'm first going to open a browser window on my computer and I'm going to make sure I can clearly see the After Effects interface behind it. So I'll navigate to the project folder, click into the project assets folder, then click into the images folder, then into the JPEG folder, into the location folder and into the aquarium folder. In this folder, I can see some images. So here I can simply select one or multiple images. Then with them selected, I will click and drag my mouse cursor from the browser window and into After Effects. With my mouse cursor over the project panel area, I will release the mouse. Upon release, the files will appear in my project panel. So I'll quickly make a new folder called Aquarium. I'll select my images and drag them into the new folder. And then I'll drag this Aquarium folder and place it into the Images folder. Perfect. So that's a few simple ways to get media into your After Effects project and how to organize media into neat folders in the project panel. Okay, so once you have media in your After Effects project, it's time to start working with it. So right now we have a composition open. We can see the black screen in the visual composition panel and the timeline panel is blank. So now there are a few ways you can get content into your composition. So I'll toggle down the video folder and toggle down the stills folder so I can see the video files inside. Here I can click and drag a video element down into the timeline at the bottom. Upon release, you will see the video appear in the timeline panel as a layer. You will notice that the layer appears as a bar from the beginning of the timeline. This bar will represent how long the video footage is. In this instance, the video is around 19 seconds long, and we know this by looking at where it ends compared to the time indicator at the top of the timeline panel. So one way is to click and drag elements from the project panel into the timeline panel. Another way is to drag elements from the project panel into the visual composition panel in the middle. So let's try this with an image this time. So over in the project panel, I'll toggle down the image folder so we can see the contents. This time I'll click and drag an image over and into the visual composition panel. Upon release, it will appear in the composition. Now I just placed in an image with a resolution greater than the video. So right now the image will appear cropped within the video frame. If I click and drag the image around in the composition panel, we can move it around like so. So when we placed in the image, it appeared on top of the video we previously placed in. If we look in the timeline panel, we will also see a new layer and it will be placed on top of the video layer. Now when you drag media elements from the project panel into the composition panel, they will always be placed in the top of the layer stack by default. Now, something else you will notice is that this time the layer goes all the way to the end. Now, this is because a still image has no time signature like the video. 
So when you place a still image into your composition, it will span the entire length of time. To alter this, you will need to change it down in the timeline panel. And that brings us to the end of this video. So to recap, some key things to remember are the project panel is where all your media elements and compositions are located in your project. Organizing your project panel with folders can make your workflow more efficient. If you make any changes to files or move files around outside After Effects that are linked, it will have knock-on effects inside your After Effects document. And elements must be placed into your compositions by dragging them from the project panel, either into the timeline panel or into the visual composition panel. Okay, so now we know how to bring media elements into After Effects and manage them in the project panel. It's now time to start animating and adding effects. Now, to understand how to animate and add effects, you will first need to understand the animation principles and how they work in After Effects. In the next video, we are going to learn the key animation principles in After Effects and how they are applied. So I'll see you in the next video.